This project they're working on is called the Bear Creek Trail Improvements Project. It includes rerouting the trail in three locations and building two uh, bridges. The idea here is to uh, reduce the number of creek crossings for the users. Here at the North Fork of Bear Creek, <clears throat> there's a beaver that builds a dam every single year and it's really hard to get a beaver dam removed in the backcountry here without equipment. And there's a, the trail goes right through the pond and it floods it out, people can't get across it. We don't want to remove the beaver dam, we want the beavers to be able to do what they want. And you see like in the spring when the, the rivers, all the rivers around the creeks are full of, of mud and dirt and um, that's all silt that's going down into the Palisades Reservoir in this case. And we don't want the, the, the reservoir to get filled in with silt. And so beaver dams, um, serve a good purpose in that, that they serve as sediment traps. And so the water's coming down and it pools into it. It's just like if you get a, a bucket of water, it's got a bunch of dirt in it, you stir it around with a shovel and it's all mixed in, it's suspended, and then you let it sit and it settles down. So it's the same concept about beaver dam, is the water comes in and it, uh, it cuts that strong flow of water and the, water uh, the, the dirt can settle to the bottom. We want the dirt to stay in the mountains. We don't want it to go to the reservoir and, and fill it in. This trail is uh, split off by the creek and the runoff. It drains an extensive amount of country up here, so it's pretty high and dangerous in the spring. So this project brings really awesome access to the area. Coolest thing is, is we're getting so many people involved. One of the big problems that we've discussed around um, trail projects is just the lack of volunteers and the lack of manpower anymore with budget cuts and all kinds of stuff like that. So I said I've got some volunteers that'd like to help and do a project and stuff. I just retired as a fireman a couple years ago and I like dirt biking and I wanted to give back and so uh, forming ISTA was a way to get a bunch of like users hikers, bikers, and bicyclers together to protect and maintain our Idaho single track. With the massive influx of new recreationists, I mean, you know, RV companies are sold out, uh, motorcycles sold out, Americans are back in the woods, <laughs> per se, and there's a wave coming of people that are going to be uh, wanting to use these public places and these trails. So it's more important now than ever to really build that army and to keep that access open so that people aren't piling up on that and they have a good experience in the forest. In my pocket, feeling all right. I don't have a note. You don't have a thing to say to me. Let's hear it out. Seeds on.